One of the core practicals is to look at density. There are three parts to this experiment. The first part is to have a look at a regular shaped object and these are some cubes of metals and very simple to do. We need an instrument to measure very accurately. A ruler just isn't good enough. We need here a vernier caliper and this I can measure to work out one of the measurements here. This is 2.0 2.039 so I'm going to record that 2.039 this object is zinc then I'm going to record the next face which is in fact 2.0 so I've now done those two faces, I'm now going to do the third face and this is 2.031 If I multiply those together I can now work out the volume I'm going to work out the mass however first and for this we're going to use a pair of a set of accurate balance scales zero at zero grams put on the zinc and that is 48.21 I can now multiply up the width by the length by the height and I've got the volume then I've got my mass and now we can work out the density which is the mass divided by the volume. Once we've recorded these for a whole series of different substances then the next experiment we can do is to work out how can we work out the density of an object like this. It's a piece of blue tack but it's certainly not an easy shape to measure and we can't use even something like these vernier calipers to do that. So this is done in a different way. We take a measuring cylinder and we put in a known volume of water and in this I'm going to put in exactly 20 centimetre cubed of water now I'm going to put the last little bit in with a dropping pipette so I've got exactly 20 mils of water in there and then what we need to do is put this object in if we just launch it in it tends to make a mess it tends to launch bubbles and it tends to sort of get water everywhere so we put it in very gently and now I can record the volume so the volume without my object was 20 centimeter cubed with this I can now see this is 21.5 I can take those away to work out my volume and then we need to work out the mass So now I need to work out the mass of this object. And it's 1.77 grams. We can repeat this with different shapes. Each time the mass here will be the same. 
but if we put it into the water we should find we actually get the same volume and we can repeat this several times to get an accurate reading. The third experiment is to have a look at a liquid and here I've got some paraffin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to record how much volume and its mass again. If I weigh my measuring cylinder and I'm going to here set it to zero so my mass of my empty cylinder is going to be zero and then we can put in a volume of liquid doesn't really matter what volume of liquid I put in as long as we know its volume accurately. So here I've got 8.246, 8.6 centimetre cubed. The mass of this is 7.04 and so we can now do the calculations of working out the mass divided by the volume and there we've completed the required practical to work out density.